This is about the third message that I done made about Shawnee. Mm -mm, this is about the third message. And I'm so tired because your whole book, okay, this is some boo-boo the fool nonsense. You got divorced from this man in 2011. And this is 2024. You writing a whole book about this man. Okay? A whole book about this man. He took you in when you was a baby mama. Okay? And you trying to sit up here and act like, okay, he did all this evil to you. Let me share something with you, baby. You picked number 10. You picked number 10. A high value man, which y'all deem as high value man mean money, but it doesn't. It means his character. But since you picked number 10, baby, number 10 comes along with a lot of foolery. You picked number 10. You wanted that lifestyle. And now here you come to social media talking about, woe is me. I didn't deserve all this. And then you turn around and put in your book, well... I never really loved him. I was in love with the idea of marriage and family. Mm. Can anybody say gold digger? Can anybody say gold digger? Because now people are looking at women two-sided. Already they was looking at us two-sided. But thank you for making it more obvious. Okay? Making it more obvious for them to believe that women are really like this. Some women that love their husbands and do right by their husbands, we get bad names because of y'all foolery that y'all do out here in these streets. So now, the husband that you married to now, are you really in love with him or are you in the, are you just in love with the idea of being married to a pastor? Answer that question. Are you in love with the idea of being married to a pastor? Now you up here just kicking Shaq back in because of some money. All these years, you waited to write a book. You in love with the fact of being married. How dare you? I'm sorry. Nobody ain't saying nothing to you. But I, I got to say something to you because this is nonsense. You want us to feel bad for you. Baby, you knew what you were signing up for, baby. You knew what you were signing up for. You picked number 10. Women who are married to famous men and men that are rich, baby, I don't feel bad for you. You knew what you were signing up for. I'm sorry. Ain't no way you think that you're supposed to have this man to yourself. Do you know how much but JJ get thrown at these men left and right? You knew what you were signing up for, baby. I don't feel bad for you. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't feel bad for you. Because here we go, okay, you up here on some TV show, call yourself trying to promote your book with your husband, okay, your new husband, and he up here lying on one of his members from his congregation. Get that nonsense out of here. That's why you looked at him funny. But here you go kicking somebody back in who took you and your son and loved your son like that child was his own. That's the thanks he get, right? I, listen, I'm not calling him an angel. I ain't saying what he did to you was uh, right. But we gonna call a spade a spade. I don't feel bad for you because you picked number 10. If you pick number 10, damn it, you gotta worry about the rest of the other women who want him too. Take heed to the message with your nonsense self coming to social media, self-righteous behind. 